Delo brought supporters to this piece of land in District 6. She says when she was mayor of Cape Town, she released parcels of land such as this for the development of affordable housing. Since her departure as mayor four years ago, she says none of the planned projects or land that were released under her tenure has been used. Delil says developments within the city can be constructed as apartment blocks which could house hundreds of families. Showing a memory stick that she says contains information, Delil says there are 450 parcels of land that belongs to the Western Cape government that is not being used. But there are many other buildings and pieces of land that could also be used. And so that's why we say they must stop lying to say we can't continue to, to build and provide housing because we are waiting on national government. That's not true. Yes, yes, the truth. That they've got enough land to, to continue with their programs, whether it's small or not. The DA mayoral candidate for Cape Town, Jordan Hill Lewis, says land owned by the state, which DeLille is now in charge of as Minister of Public Works in the national government, far exceeds the size of the land that the city has at its disposal. If we really want to make a massive dent on affordable housing backlogs in Cape Town, why is it taking so long to release the unused or very underutilized military land that Minister DeLille controls and which she has publicly committed to releasing for years? When she was mayor for eight years before that, she campaigned publicly for the release of that, of that land. And now that she has the power to do so, she has not done so. So we will do our part. What part will Minister DeLille do in releasing the land which is 72 times the size of that which the city controls? DeLille says as a minister in government, all requests for the release of land are addressed. But the responsibility is still that the different spheres of government, the province and the city must use their own land. And this is what I'm showing today, that they've got enough land. They don't need to wait for, for, for national government land. They must proceed with what they have. This parcel of land, located on the foreshore next to Cape Town's unfinished bridges, was earmarked for major development while De Lille was still mayor. The party says public land for public good, such as spatial redress and affordable housing, is part of the core issues it wants to tackle. And we need to identify public land in the custody of the city government and use it to address the public needs, which are housing and amenities. So yes, land and the access of public land for affordable housing will be central. As I said, we already in, in 2017 identified 11 parcels of land right here in the inner city. That project was cancelled after we left. And the first thing that I would do on my first day in office is to restart that program. The party says that a government that is serious about implementing affordable housing would simply get down to business and use land that is within their custody. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.